everyone, so I thought I'd give you a tip that I've learned on how to uh, possibly prevent or at least prevent the majority of uh, punctures that you're going to experience on the road. So uh, this is this is um, one of the types of uh, tyre sealant that you can get. Um, this is one that I've got here. Um, so it's basically it's a simple uh, tyre sealant, and basically what you do is uh, you put it. You have uh, on the inner tube. Uh, this one doesn't, but normally you have uh, a removable valve, which you have a, a small, small device like this, and you just, you just put it on. You just undo it like that, and then this, this bit, this bit removes, pulls off, and then you basically uh, get some kind of dispenser. Personally, I, I use just an old um, oil. A container and then anyway you put um, it says uh, bicycle tires 1 to 2.4 inch 20 23 to 60 mil uh, 2 to 3 ounces uh, so just basically put 2 to 3 ounces this container was 16 ounces um, so I managed to fill um, both my front and back tire uh, and uh, and the Brittany's front and back tire as well uh, and that's that's all sorted so yeah um, so literally since we've had it she hasn't had any punctures I've had quite a few but that was because of a bad tire um, however it pretty much always fixed them so I would notice that my tire had, had gone to like low PSI um, I was thinking oh it's a little bit squidgy and then I would then sort of stop and check it and then I would see like a little bit of of this, this, this is like a white liquid. I'd see some of this white liquid that had spilled out. Um, so then I would obviously pump it back up, and it would stay, it would stay puncture free, even though it obviously punctured and let some of the air out. So it's really, really good investment, I think. Um, this, this was around 550 baht. So um, what's that? 15 dollars, something like that, um, US. So yeah, it's it's really really changed the game, and uh, I've since put a different tire on uh, now. So I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not even going to be getting any puncture anymore. I've I've heard of people who um, have have been saying that literally since they've got it, they've been wearing the tires out before they've even had to change the inner tube. So uh, literally, I, I'm not even using inner tubes anymore, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if it's it's easy to do, you can do it yourself. Uh, you, I actually got this free from the bike shop. They're giving me for free. Um, I just said to them w w when I bought this, I just said, "Look, I want to remove the valve," and they just give it me. So I'm not sure if all bike shops would do that, but if they don't, I'm sure you can buy one for a small price, and then you can do all your own tires. And then at the end of the day, you're on a long ride. You've only got one spare in the tube with you. I mean, I'm not saying it cancels the need for patching or whatever, but certainly it's gonna. I would say 90% of the time it's going to get rid of them. All of the small ones it seemed to fix. I even heard the air come out and then it, as it fixed it um, because basically this stuff is pressurised and as it comes out it fixes it. So uh, you don't need to have special tyres or anything neither. You can just put it in any old inner tube and it will essentially fix punctures for you. Um, punctures have always been a really an annoyance for me on the bike. Um, although you know I know how to fix them. I've, now I had to take the wheels off and all that stuff, you know, I'm pretty good at it now as well, I think. But it's still an annoyance, it's still a job that you don't have to do, it's an extra part of your day, etc. So uh, if, if you want to save some time, possibly save some money on patches, etc. in the long run at least, uh, get some of this stuff, tyre sealant, not sponsored, um, and yeah, just, just get some and, and try it out, you know, and then, and then let me know in the comments how, how you get on, etc. So, hope this has been helpful for you. Just a quick tip for you, for everyone. See you in the next video.